Hello guys welcome back to show of our celebrity news and updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads in 2003, Ashanti and Nelly were already at an advanced stage in their musical careers. At the time, Ashanti, whose legal name is Ashanti Doublers, was featured in Spike Lee's 1992 film Malcolm. Her debut album Call Ashanti earned her numerous awards and eventually took her to the 2003 Grammy Awards. There, she won the award for Best Contemporary R&B Album and met Nelly too. At the party, Nelly Cornell, Neiro Haynes Jr., won the Best Rap Performance Award by a duo or group for his song Shake Your Tail Feather. Pictures from the awards show captured the moment Ashanti, who was 23 years old, signed a paper for the then 29-year-old rapper. In 2007, Ashanti released the song Switch from her fourth album, The Declaration. The song is about strutting around in high heels and features Nelly. In 2008, a year after the release of Switch, Ashanti lent her vocals to Nelly's hit Body on Me. She also appeared as the main character in the music video for this song. The song was produced twice for the singer's album and for Nelly's fifth studio album Brass Knuckles. Shortly afterwards, Ashanti released her album The Declaration. Nelly appeared in a song on the album entitled Good Good, the lyrics of which contained many innuendos. The rapper appeared as the main character in the song's music video. That same year, an interview with the singer in People magazine highlighted how the couple's notoriously private relationship had captivated the public. Ashanti avoided questions aimed at confirming whether they were together or not. Me and Nelly are good friends. We spend a lot of time outside, said Ashanti, who was 27 at the time. It's a very difficult industry so it's good to have fun and take the pressure off. When asked if the two wanted to get married, she reportedly held up her bearing finger and replied, Oh no. No. Without obligations. Shortly after, she added, but certainly in the future. Then later in a 2014 interview on Sway in the Morning, Ashanti described Nelly as her first love as an adult. Have Nelly and I seen each other since this whole drama happened? Absolutely, she said at the time. You know, it's a very small industry. So it will come out I give up. Ashanti also confirmed in the interview that her new album Braveheart, which contained songs about love and romance, was a direct reflection of the last two years of her life. While promoting Braveheart, the singer appeared on Hot 97 and admitted to discussing children with the rapper. Although the singer ignored questions about the rapper's infidelity, she admitted that there were problems in their relationship. Things happen, you know, she replied when asked if he cheated. People get hurt. People are irritated. People carry everything with them, you know, things like this happen in real life. Finally, in 2022, she asked fans, What do you like? The singer sat on chair cushions during Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen to open up about what's going on in her life. She also admitted that she was amused by public investments, as she saw them stirring things up with her former love. My reaction was wow. There were a lot of comments and a lot of people wanted it. Let me just say that we are in a better place. You know, because it used to be like that he explained, pretending to fight for impact. But we're fine now. Yes, we're having some conversations, you know. So that's fine. Thank you for watching to the end, guys. If you have something to tell us about this video, leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share. See you next.